Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We're about to explore the mysteries of Akana Canyon with whatever tattle is going on about evil monsters that can see me all around the place. Piers, however, we're gonna have to- Hey! Go away! Break through these mummies ranks first. Which is not gonna work out too well, I'm sure. If I attack them from behind, we should be sound though, yes? Good, we beat up a mummy. Let's get inside. Keep away from our house, my father is not one of you. Okay. One of you being the zombies then. What if we take care of all the zombie friends first? Well, we set on a bomb. Either way works for me. One more zombie. Ah, get off me, humping man! Oh, bird as well. Die. Right. All the zombies are dealt with, madame. Keep away from my house. My father is not one of you. You leave every two minutes, supposedly, but also when the bomb goes off? Oh, wait a second. You are the music boxy house song of storms? I don't know if that's right or not, but that sounds really odd. I'm considering it. It sounds far out. Song of Storms, bombs. Okay, no such luck with the bomb going off. That was completely useless. She's not letting us in. Well, we'll go explore other places then, I guess. Oh, Fairy Fountain, hello! Yes, we'll restore your shattered pieces. At least we found your location already. Oh, kind young one, please hear our plea. Please find the fairies trapped in Stone Tower Temple. Find the ones who are the same colour as we are and bring them back to us. You're a very nice colour for once. Thanks for restoring a little bit of HP. We killed those mummies. It was harsh. One of them humped us. It's bad. How do we get in this music box housey place? And all the zombies are back. Well, there is another hole here in the gate that people cannot enter. So I say let's enter it. Ancient castle of Icana. We got a switch. Oh, we got, well, we got a tingy tingy ting noise, but that doesn't actually provide us with much in the way of knowledge of what's just went on. Doesn't seem like anything's changed. Zombies are still patrolling. I'm not a zombie, madame. Nope, we get no puzzle completion tune. We can take the zombies down, but it doesn't prove to give us that much. So let's keep looking around on the outside edges, eh? There's a cave over there. There's of course this house here, the spirit house. Let's head inside. Okay, ghost hut. Hello, sir. Eee, a kind of kingdom was found on this land, stained with a history of darkness, drenched in blood. Even now it's a place where troubled, regretful spirits gather. If you are seeking the one who is stronger than you are, you may find strength here. With a group of spirits plagued by lingering regrets. If you have faith in your skills and might, then try saving these wandering spirits. <laughs> but the earthly price you must pay is 30 rupees. Will you still do it? Yeah, sure, whatever. I've got loads of rupees. You're a boy of much vigor. Defeat the ladies within the time limit and rest their souls in peace. But if your life energy drops below three hearts, I will stop the match. Well, we got a lot of hearts to go. Mercy is the least I can offer. Are you prepared? With a gilded sword, and we probably should equip bow and arrow as well. We've got boss music on top of that. Oh yeah, do you work in the same way as the old spirits then? 
You can't be Z-targeted, yeah? And then we back away from you, we let you spin at us. You work in the same fashion, okay, great. Gilded swords are good for this. I won't target you though. Okay, there's another one defeated. Ladies going down. Are these the same ones in the spirit temple? Rupees, why are you disappearing, madame? Oh, you are the same. You spam then, didn't you? You revealed who you are. I can't get close to you because it seems the circle moves no matter what, so we'll use the bone arrow. Well, the Shadow Temple as well was another place. I thought you spam then. Obviously not. Okay, we just we just guess. We'll just guess. It's fine. Come again, ladies. We've only got a minute left to go. Okay, that made it obvious. That's all the ladies, or ghosts as we'd normally like to call them. It seems their souls have been healed. I give to you the earthly possession which the ladies kept. Take it, Olives. More heart pieces. You've collected two pieces so far. Collect two more to extend your life energy. Great, that is your name, correct? I can read people's hearts. I knew you would be coming here. Now my own soul has been healed too with that. Hee hee hee. You're going to disappear then, sir. So. Bye. Farewell. I'll feed us then. Well, let's check out the next cave along the way, hey? What's this say? Spring Water Cave. Entry prohibited due to ghost sightings. Well, we're not exactly scared of no ghosts. I'm scared of miasma, though. Well, let's bring out the lens of truth, eh? There's nothing to be seen at all here. And our cutscene is tinted by the lens of truth as well. What business have you in Icona Kingdom, land where only the dead roam? Ah, ghostly sir, we recognise you a little bit. This is no place for one as full of life as you. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. If that is the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp shall play. And join the ranks of the dead. I'm dying to your song, but we do know a song to counteract you, sir. Talk to us by your brother. Well, what is this? This song? No, it can't be this song. Seems this song mainly worked to weird him out, but the water level rose. Maybe it'll wash the mummies away. Nope, the mummies keep going, but the water wheel's moving. So 
the water wheel turns the gears to get the music box moving and the mummies the mummies hate the music you'll rot if you walk around that water you're only bandages and rotting corpse you know you don't really want to add extra moisture there happening to the mummies? They're not going to explode, are they? I understand you can't deal with the song. And you've been buried. Okay. Return from whence you came, says, to the ground, to the ground. Weird. That was very weird. <laughs> Flat, my dear brother. Forgive your foolish brother who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Ye who do not fear the dead. With my brother's song you have broken the curse that was placed upon me. It is all thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of the masked one who had upset things. If you truly do not fear the dead, I wish for you to go to the temple in this land and sever the root of the evil curse that torments us. To do that, I, the only one who knows the way into the temple, shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of Icona Castle, awaiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. By scaring some zombies. Can we go down this tunnel, I wonder? The weirdest things to wonder, eh? Can we go down said tunnel? I'm amazed that person didn't teach us a song or anything, if you know what I mean. Ugh! Didn't mean to dive out like that. Nope, that is literally the end. So where did the water come from? We'll never know. Let's dive out in a weird way. Woo! Oh no, we didn't. <laughs> okay. Never mind, but the zombies are out of the way. The Gibdos. The mummies. Let's take that as a sign to say hello to whoever's inside. And randomly butt our heads into it. Okay, we can slide up there. It's probably why it looks kind of... No, it doesn't look kind of gore on like. There's multiple places for us to go, it seems. Hello. Bye-bye. Okay. We'll get you out again, though. Maybe this tip will work this time round, eh? That's the wrong kind of bomb, Sam. Ah, okay, that did work. Right, she's moving. I'm not really here. Okay, we need to sneak in behind her, it seems, here. You're really not going to let us in, ever. Put it at your door, then. We'll blow it off the hinges. Let's find out which way she's heading. Okay, she's opened the door again. So we have to sneak in the house behind her. I assume that's what we're doing here. Where's she gone? Oh, whatever. I'm going in. Right, the music box house, where her daddy is not one of the zombies. Weird little stones missing everywhere. It's quite a nice house, it seems.
What? What on earth is going on here? This mummy looks different, sort of like it's been here waiting for its human heart to be healed. Well, do something, haven't you figured it out yet? I think I kind of have now. What is the song of healing again? It's only three numbers, right, down, left, right? Only three numbers, that's the wrong way of saying it. Song of healing, it's left, right, down. Okay, well, we don't want him to eat us first of all. It seems that her dad very much is a zombie. She's really not facing things a little very well here. The Song of Healing should put pay to him. Heal his human heart! Oh! He's actually healed healed! Father? Father! I thought he'd end up dead dead. Pamela! That's the first time we've taped someone's face off without them dying. This is amazing! This is a breakthrough! What have I been doing this whole time? You haven't been doing anything. You had a bad dream, you were just having a little nightmare. Pamela. We seem to have gained ourselves yet another new mask. You got the Gibdo mask. This mask was once the hideous face of Pamela's father. This mask looks so real that even a Gibdo would mistake you as one of its own. We saved you, sir. Aren't we good? Let them be. Don't you get it? You're so insensitive. Well, you know, heart pieces are generally good. Has the kid been, like, mummifying other things to put in with her father, it seems? Locked him in a closet, put charms on the walls. This is why you don't do any experiments into the dead. Of course, if no one did that, we would have had hardly any advances in medical science and whatnot over the years, but you know what I mean. In a fantasy type game setting, do not experiment with the dead people. It's bad. Right then, so let's move on. We've got a well that we can drop down into, we have the slope that we can go up. What first? What first? Explored most of the places, we're picking up heart pieces around the place as well, I love that. Ow! Slash! So we can't run up there, so let's just use the Goron to roll it up. So this is Stone Tower. The Goron face it looks like. But if I'd have to say anything about Stone Tower, it's probably the next dungeon or something? I don't know. No, it's not the next dungeon. It's an actual place for us to explore. A massive place with kind of cool music. So in other words, probably not the right order of things, eh? I don't know how you'd say it. First of all, we have ourselves a well to drop down. So we take another advantage. Ow! Leg breaker! Beneath the well. Oh, I actually called that as well in this game. Right, so we have a Gibdo mask now, so we don't have to worry about any more mummies humping face. Always good. What's along this way? Oh, there's lots of mummies around the place. Hello! Oh, we can speak to them now. Leave it! Leave it! Leave me something delicious to chomp on, something that sprouts when it's watered, preferably five of them. Ah, so this is what you guys were on about. We do indeed have five magic beans. Ah, this, this, I bear you no remorse. Farewell. 
Thank you for the door open. What's the other one want? Hello, Gibdo friend. Leave it, leave it. Leave me something blue that bestows health. Blue that bestows health. So blue potion then. Which we just sent the Deku off all the way to the ocean. You have expensive tastes. If you don't have it, I have no need for you. Away! Sure, sure. We'll have to go and get that then. We may as well check what's through the first door. Enemies. Monsters. Yeah, get gilded sorted even though someone actually... Okay, it's... Deku sticks. Thank you. Ow! Stop with this ridiculous stuff, sirs. Okay, we've got more Gibdo friends. Oh, and a blooming ceiling mastery guy. Keep, leave me alone. Gilded sword in your face. Thanks for the 20 rupees. We're going to need them because we're going to have to buy a really expensive blue potion. I actually got scared like it was jumping on me there. Leave it, leave it. Leave me something that makes a blinding flash, preferably 10 of them. Okay, we got that. We're cool for that. I found those Deku nuts while I was doing the... What's it? The mountain land deed? Next to the Gorons. Right, I bear you no remorse. We, we sorted that door. We still need to go get a blue potion, it seems. Anything else? Leave it, leave it. Leave me something deliciously fresh. No clue. Like a fresh fish or something? Well, anyway, guys, it seems that we're going to have to go off on a monstrous adventure across the land to get ourselves some consumables here in order to give to these Gibdos to get ourselves moving forward. But we'll do that next episode. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time for more, and I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.